Hi, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have finished this Pith sketchbook. It's the largest one that they do. I think it's called the Oro Blanco, but I might be wrong. It's slightly bigger than A4 size. So for reference, this is a sheet of A4 paper and it's just slightly, very slightly bigger than A4. And I really like the size. I do prefer the slightly smaller one than this, but I would buy this size again. I really love the Pith sketchbooks. They, they are literally now my favourite sketchbook to use. They're just so good for mixed media and they're not a bad price at all either. So this one, this sketchbook was from the 1st of June, 2024 to the 31st of August, 2024. And I've got lots in here. I'm just gonna do a few things. It's not gonna be a full sketchbook tour to show you some of my favorite pieces. But I'm really, really happy um, with quite a lot in here. So this is my first page, which I did on the 1st of June. Used a bit of the jelly plate, but a lot of mixed media as well on top. And yeah, I've done these seascapes before with like rock pills, etc. And I keep going back to it and I think I want to do more of this, but potentially outside of my sketchbook. But yeah, I really like this. Love the colours and the textures. Then I did an Emma Kala live call on the 27th of June. I think this sketchbooks all over the place again so we'll see but um I think this is Emma's dog Gizmo sorry if that's not right uh we were drawing um what were we drawing rivers I think we we're doing rivers this is a 10 minute drawing which I did on a textured background that was from a live stream call, I'm not as keen on that. This is more of the Emma Carlisle live call, person by the river with two dogs, uh, up close of a river. I think we were doing rivers because Emma's book, Time Runs Like a River, was coming out. So I think we were doing that. These more of Emma's live call. And then that one was from Emma's Live Call. I really like that one. I initially didn't really like it, but I actually really, really quite like it now. I just don't seem to have got the movement done very well in the river, but I quite like what's going on with the trees. This one was from a Francis Ives Live Call on the 1st of July. I think we were draw drawing geese and ducks, but these were three minutes each. I like this one here. I can't remember what it is I used. Potentially pencil. Maybe even a nail colour. I think of these live calls, when I join these live calls, I always try to use something that I either haven't used for a long time or I decide to just use one material or mix stuff up. Give myself a little bit of an extra challenge on top of a challenge. Because these live calls, I do find them sometimes quite a challenge because the, you're drawing sometimes subject matter you wouldn't draw or you're doing a lot of time drawings, which is obviously a challenge and it's great to push you out of your comfort zone. So I tend to use lots of different things. I think this might have been a nail colour, maybe the beige nail colour. Um, 15 minute ones, geese in the water. I love the geese. I wasn't keen on how I did the water. I quite like this one here. And then this, this 20 minute one here. Yeah, I really like the tree texture. Quite like the, the sketchiness of it. Sometimes you think 20 minutes is quite a long time, but actually when, you, it's just not, <laughs> it's just not. Um, You think you'd be able to get more down on the page sometimes than what you manage to get down. And sometimes it's just not, time runs away really quickly. But yeah. I enjoyed that session a lot. This was an Emma Carlisle call. I'm just gonna make sure it's fully in shot. Where I did all of the drawings on this double page spread, which is quite why I quite like this size sketchbook for doing these live calls, because you can actually do it as a spread, which I started to do on this one here, and I've really enjoyed doing this. So this was a 
I think it was something like draw your own adventure. So you got to choose various things. We got to like pick various ways you were going to go for your own adventure. It was like a bit like an archaeology dig. Um, and it's almost like telling a story. I really enjoyed this. Um, definitely something that I would not have drawn myself if I hadn't have joined the call. And this is why I love joining these calls. Um, so this was on the 7th of July. 15 minutes, I think. This one was 15 minutes, 18 minutes, 20 minutes, 12 minutes. That's my least favourite one. I joined a little bit. I think I was a little bit late. That was supposed to be a coin, but it was a very fast one. So I've just got a gold circle on the page. But um, it tells a story. I like this one um, with the face and uh, the marks that I've made there. I think that was using pencil. I'm not sure if that was neo colour, but definitely pencil. I love this one here as well and here. So yeah, I really like doing a spread. So this size sketchbook is really good for that. So I think I've talked before about the Morton Hilma, Hilma live stream. So it's a nature camera, which is on a live stream. So I joined on the 8th of July, one evening, and I saw, I wrote down that I saw seven badges, two foxes and a raccoon dog, but I had to Google what that was. But somebody did put it in the chat because obviously there is a live chat going on as the live stream is happening and somebody put a oh, raccoon dog and I was like, never heard of that one of those before um i've obviously not drawn all of those and uh, drawn all of those on here i've just stuck to badges but it's the first time i've seen badges on the live stream because i hadn't done it for a while before doing this one here so i really enjoyed it and i like how the badges turned out I was using some sort of i think it was ink um pastel Pencil, neo pastel, probably some sort of ink. I think that's an ink, a white ink. But I really like this page. Really like this page. Oh, I've got another one. I joined again on the 10th of July. And this one, there was just a bird. It's not a very good bird that I've drawn on there either. But I loved the colour palette. So here I have actually written down what I use. So I've used the Choco Pudding Robert Oster ink. Robert Oster Choco Pudding. It's a great ink. I love it. It's like a pinky brown shade. It's a gorgeous shade. Um, cool grey acrylic ink. I'll use some April Showers ink, which I can't remember the brand of that. A yellow beige Jackson's pastel, light olive beige Jackson's pastel, sepia raw umber olive brown, um, pencils and flesh neo color too. So lots of mixed media going on here. I probably use some sort of dark pastel as well, dark color pastel which I've not written down. Um, but yeah, lots going on. Live stream again, loving the live streams. When did I do this? 22nd of July, again in the evening, badges and fox. So I've quickly got them in. And this was also, I don't know if it was my first attempt at the three materials drawing challenge or if it was a couple of attempts in, but I've got this, a badger and a fox. And I chose the colour palette mainly because I like thought the colour palette for the fox but also the badger would work really well but I could get a bit of a light um show some of the light coming through and have this you know the dark tree here and this log coming across here and then we've got the the bit of the stream here I really like this colour palette um it's intense storm dust which is like a grey luminance dark indigo which I use for the line and then, forgive my pronunciation of this, the Juan Brilliant Gouache. 
which is this peachy orange color, which again, hadn't used for absolutely ages and thought I need to use that more. And it's a really lovely color. I actually really want to use gouache a lot more. It's good for layering for mixed media. So, but yeah, I really like that color palette. Uh, this is another three materials drawing challenge. I've used some vintage, a vintage book that has uh, black and white photography in it as reference. And, but obviously didn't want to do it in black and white. So I decided on this colour palette here, which was a little bit inspired by Emma Carlyle, particularly this ultramarine shade. Um, so I've used the same colours. I'm just checking that. Yeah, I've used the same colours. It's on a textured background, which I don't think counts as one of your materials. So it's just three materials on top of it. So I've used a dermant. No, they're not the same. I swapped the pencil out for a different colour. So on this one, I've got Durant Drawing Pencil in Yellow Ochre. Liquitex Unbleached Titanium. And then this Neo Colour 2 in Ultramarine. And then for this one, I swapped out the Durant Drawing Yellow Ochre for the Derwent Light Fast in Dark Honey. Because really, I think I should have used that in that one. But um, I couldn't find it when I was doing that one. Which is why I swapped it out. And I really like how these worked out. I love actually this figure here. The offset against the, the colours against the um, ultramarine. Using the ultramarine as the darkest tone. I love the dogs here. I've not really drawn dogs before. But I quite like those there. Uh, and yeah, I really quite like that. I didn't do much of the three materials challenge, but I like the little bits that I did of it. So this one was on the 5th of August again, evening, night. When I say evening, these were probably done at maybe eight o'clock at night, UK time, maybe seven o'clock. So late evening, night time, moving on to night time. Uh, this is on a textured background, which I absolutely loved. Love this dark colour here. It's some pastel that I can't remember the name of. Um, I think it's a Unison one or a Jackson's one. One of those, but it's a dark uh, brown shade. Absolutely gorgeous colour. Love the badger. There was badges again, probably more than the one, but I've only drawn the one in. And then, yeah, I just loved the, the mood of this one. It's really nice. This was a recent one that I did. This is an Emma Carlyle uh, live call. But again, this was a spread. This is why I like this size. So this was, the only thing I did is I did these figures here too large. So I couldn't fit everything on. However, really enjoyed it. This was um, drawing Emma's dad. And his friends playing golf so it was sort of I did it a bit like again a bit like a story although obviously some of it's off the page etc but I only used the one material for this so it was a watercolor pencil uh, French grey museum aquarelle carandash uh, watercolor pencil which I didn't put use that much as a watercolour pencil until like here and then on the golf cart I mainly just used it as a pencil but really like the shade of it um I'm quite into a warm grey really like a warm grey but I like again practicing drawing figures um in short amount of time it's good practice so these were three minute ones this one was a 10 minute one then this one, I think this was 15 minutes, the golf cart. And then this one here was 20 minutes. And then I had to finish off with this one here, which was a 15 minute one. Because I didn't have room on the other page. But I really enjoyed that um, live call. And that was the last one that I did.
But I've really enjoyed this sketchbook, um, particularly doing live calls in it when I've joined a live call or watching the live stream on YouTube, the nature live stream. It's a nice size uh, sketchbook. So I will definitely be buying it again at some point when I've finished some more of my sketchbooks. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like and like the video if you've enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy my content. It would mean a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.